Always make sure the weapon is clear. Empty. Empty. The usual field strip is quite simple. You just take down, pull it back up. As a million other videos will tell you. The rest, however, take these pins. They are usually quite tight. You'll need a hammer. That's what they are not Glock pins, they will not be pushed out, they need to be tapped out. Well, that is simple enough. Tapping item. Gentle tapping. This is not a good idea, but you'll get the point. Still not far enough out. One out of two. Second one is easier. Yeah, I'll take that. Anyways, and now you need to remove the takedown handle. Push down the takedown block with an item of your preference. Lift up the takedown lever while it's pushed down. And slide it sideways. It's out. And from here, screws, do whatever the fuck you want. That's the lower. For the upper, I'm not actually going to do it. Remove the screws for the safety. Push in the X, no, the magazine lock, and then the firing pin all the way in. And then you're able to push out the entire safety barrel. And from there, you just take the pin that is inside out. I have to do it nice for Beware of the ball bearing inside here. It was designed by the devil himself. This tiny little motherfucker is the ball bearing, and it goes on top of the spring in the rear. Again, whoever designed this is the devil himself. And then, once you've removed the center by doing what I said, you beat out this pin as well, and that loosens the entire assembly. And that's it. Installation is reverse. Have fun.